2018 was a relatively shaky year for me in terms of playing. I had gone into the beginning of the year with a pretty strong set of scores, but after taking a month off in April, I actually struggled a good bit for months to even get close to my prime, and would eventually find myself playing decently well near the end of August. This would be when I actually started feeling comfortable playing, and I would knock out a lot of goals out of the way, and even surprise myself in a few instances. Ranking these scores was extremely hard, and frankly I'll probably end up changing the list multiple times, but I'll try my best to rank them somewhat properly. No more talking. These are my top 10 scores on Eterna for 2018. I had double laid this back in 2016, back when core cohesion and DP scoring was a thing, but never found myself getting the score I thought I could get on this. These types of files conceptually are some of my favorite types of stamina files, as it has this combination of being decently fast, but still maintaining the concept of it being jumpstream oriented. Getting a 95 on this was the goal for me, but maybe I'll go for a 1.55 in the future. This score was set when I started to become more comfortable with core jacks and started training them months back. While I was seeing pretty solid progress, this was the score I least expected to get. As you can see, my 1.1 personal best just barely was a 95 to begin with. So a 1.15 run was pretty much just a shot in the dark chance at me maybe trying to get through it or to see how far I can get. The entire second half of this file is just straight 170 BPM core jacks, and for some reason I felt really comfortable and was able to coast through nearly all of it before slightly falling off near the end. While this probably could be beaten by avid jack players, this still holds to be a very impressive score for me and at least deserves to be on this list. What? <laughs> that felt... what? <laughs> This file might not be very recognizable to many newer school players, but this file definitely haunted so many players back in the day. The awkward patterning and repetitiveness is what made this file super mind blockable and hard to score on overall, especially on the accuracy side. Samurai had a 59 perfect AAA score of this back on Stepmania 3.95, and that score was insane as it was, so I was very happy to nab the AAA just below that perfect count. Wow, I didn't expect to get that. Oh my god. Huh. I haven't played that file in forever. I didn't really know where to put this on the list since the focus is specifically on the PA and not the score itself, but the PA felt so good on this that I just had to include it. This file simply does not hold up at all, as the only break in the song is right under 2 seconds and then gets right back into it. There's not a lot more I can say about this file other than the fact that it does not let up and the patterns are crazy in this but the score is probably one of my best attempts at PAing a file, and hopefully I can FC this with similar PA in the future. Huh. <laughs> that PA, dude. This is where the list starts to get tricky in terms of where to place these scores, and to be honest, they can kind of be placed anywhere. I had gotten 6 CBs on this file as far back as 2015, but I wanted to see how close I can get to that score with an entirely new judge window and without chord cohesion, which makes comboing this file a living hell, especially the intro. The intro of this file is really the main deal breaker here, as there's a plethora of mini jacks and chord jacks combined that just make this file insanely fast given that they range around the 290 BPM barrier. And holding on for the second half is probably the most nerve wracking thing in existence if you're on a good run. I'm hoping I can FC this file next year with cleaner PA, but for now, this is where the CB count stands on this Hard Songs Mega Pack Classic. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really good. That beats my old best by four, no, three CBs. I'd like to give another shout out to Samurai for his insane four perfect AAA score on this back in 2014. A score that I thought was very ahead of its time, and frankly I did not think was ever going to be beaten. Beating this score was quite the daunting task, as this file has flams and changing rhythms throughout the entire file that make it a total nightmare to MA. And after thinking my 8 perfect run on this was good, this was definitely satisfying to get. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's... That's actually really good. Oh my god. My 2.0 score on this was just shy of a 95, so going for a 2.1 run on this seemed pretty ambitious for me. 
Despite the near vibro trills and 280 BPM jacks thrown into the mix, this run pretty much went exactly how I wanted to, and to be honest I really can't see myself beating the score for a while. Oh, and there's a heart rate monitor on the bottom right for the score in case you're wondering how hard this file got for me near the end. This score was done during a de-rest session, as I had not played for around 4 days and decided to wing this after starting to feel warmed up. After coming out of the first half with a 95 and noting that I was out of stamina during the run, it's actually hilarious to me that I was able to hang on for the next entire half of the song and brought my score back up to a double A in the last 5 seconds. The ending of this file pretty much determines whether or not you're going to double A the file, as the most dense and technical part of the file awaits you just before the slower streams and the file roll in. This definitely deserves a top 3 spot on this list, and hopefully a 1.45 double A will be in reach in 2019. What? <laughs> what? I've never been much of a speed oriented player, and probably never will be, but this score shows that every once in a while, I can display some type of speed. On this rate, Lesson becomes ridiculous not just for its speed, but the trills during the verse and the 315 BPM mini jacks on top of the 30 second streams that precede it force you to combo everything you can if you're not able to combo those. Overall, this is definitely one of my best technical slash speed scores in my opinion this year, and hopefully I can get more speed oriented scores in the future. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! What? <laughs> I actually didn't think this was possible. Oh my god. 21st Century Schizoid Man 1.8 is in my opinion my best double A this year. I haven't been able to replicate this score after I got this, and it probably stands out among the rest of my scores. There's really no other way to describe the hard parts of this file but a giant mess. The patterns are kind of fun in my opinion, but they're an absolute mess. To be honest, I would love to describe them, but you would have to watch the score to gain an understanding of how ridiculous this file can get. Some of the patterns in this are nothing like I've ever seen before, and for me to double A this after failing it on 1.8 the day before this was insane to me. I honestly couldn't think of another score to put at this spot, so for now, I consider this to be my best score of 2018. Take two. I don't know- oh man, it's gonna be so fucking hard. I got it. Holy shit. I just barely got it. <laughs> yes. We'll take that. Thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see another video like this where I cover top 10 scores from another player on Eterna, feel free to suggest in the comments below, and I'll be sure to consider it in the next video. And lastly, shoutouts to patron Princesswell for supporting the channel. Be sure to check out my Patreon and other sellout links below. I'll see you all in whatever video I upload next, and take care.